Hello, Libra viewers. So, last video we did, I got that you need to clear out your throat chakra, so I hope you guys have done that. I was getting the energy of new love, adventure, travel, just lots of new energy, lots of, of new things coming in for you. So let's see what's going on with your love life. By the way, I have a raffle going on. If you donate a dollar to me, you get a, um, you know, someone will win and get a free in-depth video reading from me. Um, the winner will be announced on the 22nd. And I don't really get that many donations, so you have, you know, the odds are in your favor. Um, my cash app and my PayPal is below. And again, just a dollar gets you one raffle ticket. So five dollars is five raffle tickets. One dollar is one raffle ticket. Just include your email when you donate. All right, what is going on in your love life? What is going on in your love life? Reconciliation is going on, okay. Reconciliation energy, that's good. Put that right there. Willpower, strength, and confidence. Isolation, loneliness, and emptiness. So this is either you or your person that's gone through a phase of isolation, loneliness, and emptiness. And, you know, through willpower and your strength and confidence, you're, you're coming out of that energy or your person is coming out of that energy. Toxicity, red flags, and hidden motives. Choose a path. Hidden truth. Okay. So you've got two people here. I don't know if you've met the second person or not yet, though. But um, you have two people here, and one of them is pretty toxic, actually. So we've got end of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, beauty, mystery, enchantment, soulmate, past life connection, soul contract. So yeah, so this toxic person, um, you know, the red flags that you kind of ignored with this person, their, their hidden motives. Um, this was like a soul contract, I think. This was a soulmate. You might have thought this was your twin flame or like a life partner, and it turns out um, that it just wasn't. Then maybe it was just somebody that just ended up breaking your heart. And... Well, it could be part of the loneliness and the isolation, emptiness. Maybe this is just like a heartbreak that you went through and now you're coming out of it through your willpower and strength and confidence. And, you know, you Libras, you get to choose a path now. You get to choose because you learn from this connection. As, as painful as this was for you, I think that, you know, these red flags, these hidden motives that you experience with this person, and you, you have new love coming in, so I'm going to look into that too. I'm going to look into this new person's energy, but for this, this, this could be a pattern, this could be an, an X, but, you know, these red flags, these hidden motives this person had, I think it really did teach you something, though. You know what I mean? I think that you learned not to ignore the red flags. You learned to put yourself first. You learned to to find you to go inward and find your own strength and your willpower to to get yourself out of this this energy and you know your guides are saying you have a chance to start over so this is an end of a pattern or cycle this is breakthrough freedom you have a chance to end this pattern with emotionally unavailable and or toxic people you have a chance to choose a path you know to be honest with yourself. And I think that there's a hidden truth about this ex that was kind of toxic that maybe you knew like something could be could be drinking or something like that or cheating some kind of negativity that some some kind of something that this person was doing to you and intuitively you felt it like you kind of felt that this person was negative or you felt like this person was going to betray you or you just felt something off with this this ex or this this pattern that you were in, in the past. And, you know, you're, you guys are saying you have a chance to look at this hidden truth and be honest with yourself and use your intuition and put your intuition first. Don't ignore your intuition again. Don't ignore the red flags again. You know, choose to be honest with yourself about these connections, choose to set boundaries, choose to decide who and what you'll allow into your life. And if you do that, you know, you have this end of a pattern or cycle, you have this, this breakthrough and this freedom where you cut this pattern out um, and you you end this, this soul contract with this person and you manifest something better, you know? 
this person is wanting to reconcile with you so they might try coming back around but again it's going to be up to you do you really want to go back to the past or do you want a future that's better or do you want somebody who notices your beauty and your mystery and your enchantment somebody who knows what they have when they have it somebody who appreciates you and loves you for who you are you know because this new person is going to make a move they're going to they're just going to go for it. Like they're, they're going to, it's all green lights instead of we, I, I like the contrast here. We've got red flags and green lights. So red flags with the X green lights with the new person. Um, so again, you got to choose a path. I do want to say that, that this toxic person that you, that you had red flags with that like either cheated on you or you felt them cheating, or you felt that they were doing something shady behind the scenes. Um, you know, it's it's not going to change is what I feel for this for this group like they're they're that hidden truth is coming out and you're going to have to face that truth. Um, even if you try to avoid it, it's like you're going to find out something about this person or you've already found out, you know what I mean? Like your guides are going to push you to pay attention to the red flags and push you to embrace your intuition and push you to realize, you know, what this person is really about. Even if you choose this person, they want you to at least know the truth about who you're dealing with. They don't want you to be in denial and trying to, you know, see the best in this person and, and seeing who they used to be or who they could be. No, they want you to look and see who this person is on a daily basis. They want you to be honest with yourself about this and preferably end this pattern so you can manifest this new love that wants to come in. So, but again, the choice is yours. You get to choose that path. But again, if you choose the past, it's it's not gonna, I don't see a positive outcome there. You know what I mean? I see it just being the same crap with that person. They might say what they want to say to like get you back, but it's, it's not, they're not, they're, they haven't changed. It's still a power struggle with that person, chaser, chasey. Still the same shit with that person. Might be stalking on social media though. Publicity, social media. Yeah, but again, they have the same hesitation. It's like they just don't want to lose you. Let's look at this new person. What's up with this new person that you can manifest, that you have manifested? Okay, sadness, codependency, addiction. Okay, I guess, I guess this person... I guess there's more that this ex wants to come through, wants to come through and say sadness, codependency, addiction. So open and honest communication message. You might be getting a message from this ex about some addiction or some kind of codependency issue that they had. Then they, you know, they feel sad. They miss you and they might be open and honest, but is this ex going to change? It's like a no leaning towards maybe. It's like they might change a little bit, but like long term, not really. And you'll know if this person is toxic. Like you'll know if this is your story because this would be somebody that like was physically or verbally abusive or somebody that cheated on you or somebody that was like into some some hardcore dark shit here. Like you, you would know, you know what I mean? Like you, it wouldn't be like, oh, like you love this person and they just you know, kind of messed up a little bit. It's like, no, this person, like your, your intuition would be screaming at you. This person wasn't good for you. Okay. I want to look at the new person though. Just show me, just show me the new person, please. Really quick. Submissively willed truth and clarity. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. So what I get from this is like, you could meet them at a club or a party or some kind of social event kind of unexpectedly. What I get from this though, is that they're going to be submissive to, and to you. Like they're going to be submissive to their feelings for you. I think this other person took you for granted a lot. I think they kind of just like you were old, reliable to them. Um, like you didn't really feel beautiful with them. You didn't feel sexy. You didn't feel wanted with them. You felt very like alone with them or just things just felt off. Like you're, they might like make little comments and like your intuition would be screaming like that didn't feel right, but you would try to ignore it and you'd try to see the best in them. But like you intuitively knew this was not good for you. Um, and I think this other person would be submissive to how they feel, feel for you. Like they would give in to you. They would see your beauty and your enchantment. Like they would be, they would make you feel beautiful. Like you wouldn't have to question how they feel. You wouldn't feel taken for granted or abused or used or whatever, you know, and part of how you get into that is through truth and clarity. Um, 
being honest with yourself finally about what you will and will not tolerate, about what you want, being willing to, um, where is it? Being willing to end that pattern or that cycle and end that soul contract with the other person or multiple people and have this breakthrough and freedom and choose this new path, you know, going forward. It's new love, new adventure, new things, new experiences, you know, like really cut, really working on cutting this pattern out and not ever allowing this energy again. And, you know, again, part of that is just don't ignore the red flags, no matter how much you love somebody. That's really important. So you would manifest this new person by being honest with yourself, by being really honest with yourself about the red and green flags, not tolerating abuse, not tolerating anything that does not feel right for you on a soul level. And that will give you that clarity. And with this person, you'd be taking it slow. You might have moved quickly with this person. You'd be kind of going at like a more healthy speed with this other person, pulling them in, getting to know each other. And again, they're going to be enchanted by you. They're going to be charmed by you. They might see you out in public somewhere. And, you know, through 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 truth and clarity and choosing a path and ending these, these toxic cycles and patterns and ending these soul contracts, you step into your magic and your manifestation and intention and power and... Um, you know, you manifest this love and this adventure and traveling in the life that you want. So I hope this resonates. Um, if it does, please go ahead and, and like, share, subscribe. I do these readings fairly often. And again, I'm, I'm doing a raffle. So if you donate a dollar to me, I'll be choosing a winner in, in just a few weeks from now. And that's for a, a full in-depth reading. So thank you guys for watching.